Libra, welcome to your Just In Time Tarot reading. Now Libra, if you're watching this, trust that there is a message here for you. And that message begins with a fiery climax approaches, a full moon in Aries. Okay, now the full moon energy is about things coming to a head, coming to like a climax, a completion, conclusion. It says a fiery climax. So maybe, um, you know, finally things are coming out or finally is action, like bold action here. It's the Aries energy. And that really is about making a move, taking a leap of faith, right? Uh, let's see where this is going, Libra. I have the Oracle of the Angels here, and we've got, oh, Awakening. So maybe you are awakening to some truth here, or, you know, awakening to, you know, some insight here, or getting, you know, full awareness on maybe what you're needing to do here, or what's really happening in this situation. Maybe you've been through some kind of spiritual awakening, Libra, and when we do, Often that's when a lot of our life areas, a lot of our towers begin to shake because we see things for what they are and we might see that they're not in alignment anymore. Let's go to the tarot. Okay, first card out, Libra, is the chariot. Okay, direction and willpower. Now, the chariot really is a card of victory, right? But it's usually quite a hard-earned victory because it requires usually a very um, challenging decision, right, that we need to be fully aligned with in order to move forward. Now, the decision is usually about leaving a sense of home or like a comfort, right? So it could be leaving a place, it could be leaving a relationship, could be leaving a work career or industry that you've sort of felt um, a sense of safety, stability or security in. But the real victory is in almost like taking a bit of a calculated risk or a bit of a fool's journey here to move on, to move forward. To catch that magic carpet ride. Okay, let's go. Oh, Wheel of Fortune, my goodness. So I feel that by moving forward, your life is about to expand big time. Okay, this is major life change energy. And the Wheel of Fortune is usually around um, cycles, like life cycles, 10-year cycles. So this could be the fiery climax to a decade-long cycle that through some kind of awakening or awareness, you've decided that you want to move forward to some kind of bigger victory here. And the Wheel of Fortune says everything is about to change. Everything is about to expand and it usually brings positive change. King of Swords is here. Aquarian energy coming through. You might be dealing with an Aquarius. But the King of Swords is an energy about taking a step back and looking at the big picture here. So, yeah, I mean, we might have a really challenging decision here, life-changing decision, powerful move, but this could be for the greater good. The King of Swords <clears throat> wants to transform your life through you making an intelligent and mature decision. It feels strategic in some way here, Libra. All right, what else? We have got uh, strength. It's called fortitude in this deck. Vitality and courage. Yeah, so strength, courage, and determination is required to push your heavy stone chariot forward. And the Leo energy coming through in the strength card here talks about you unlocking a whole new level of potential and you're now following that call of the heart, that call of the intuition. Now maybe there's a fiery climax because you might be needing to communicate with, uh, you know, a partner, ex-partner, a uh, an employer, you know, or, or, you know, a real estate manager or something like that, that you are choosing to move forward and just those words can bring the tower down can bring the fiery climax but you've got to do what is best for you and best for this new version this new awakened version of yourself queen of cups is here cancer energy and she is the energy of heart and intuition and following that just what we've been speaking about now um she usually links to the ace of cups for me which is an emotional new beginning and finally you are claiming that 
And we have the sun. Oh my goodness, I just had this uh, was the last card for Gemini as well. So that's also a card of Leo. We've got two hits of Leo. We've got two hits of Cancer with Queen of Cups and the Chariot. We have Aries, Energy and Aquarius as well. So those signs might be uh, specific to your birth chart or to people that you are dealing with here. But the sun, I just want to say, is the most positive card in the tarot deck. Uh, Libra, it really talks about you know, you overcoming this kind of hurdle or, or challenge or block that you're going through, which could be making the decision, following through with it, you know, getting all the parts in place here. But the sun is about a positive, bright future ahead. It's about rebirth and it's about a new path really illuminating for you and through strength and courage and maybe a fiery cl climax that has come after an awakening, you are going through this kind of transition, this transformation, and it feels like there there is a new direction, a new happy direction, and this is your green light to move forward. Everything's about to change. Life is expanding, but it's in a positive new direction. So Libra, I'm going to leave uh, you with that and I hope you enjoyed this message. If you would like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances, the first link down below will pop you over to my website and you can check out what I offer there. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, share, comment. Please do hit subscribe on your way out. That's what keeps the lights on here and keeps the readings coming. I'd be super grateful for that. And I will see you back here, Libra, in a couple of days time for your weekly tarot reading. For now, I'm sending lots of love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.